guys welcome back to my channel my name is Adeze if you're new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for clicking on my video again and again I appreciate every one of you so you guys in today's video I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys asked me about friendships okay about friendships about sisterhood about girl code you know I think some days ago I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions and those are the questions I'm going to be answering. I got a lot of interesting questions you guys. So yeah, if you'd like to know my answer then just keep on watching. Alright, so the first question I'm going to be answering is, is it okay to talk to your friends about who you are dating? Sure. It's fine. I don't know. It's okay to talk to your friends about who you are dating, but it's not okay to tell too much about your relationships to your friends. Um, except you're really, really close to that friend. It depends on the friend anyway. It depends. You know your friends. You know the kind of friendships you have with them. You know how people are. So if you know, if your instinct is telling you not to tell the person, then don't tell the person. But generally, I don't find anything. I don't see anything wrong there. Just be sure to keep some details to yourself especially you know if there are matters that you really don't want to hear from anybody else or if there are matters that you don't want people to really know about then be careful of how you tell those those things to your friends okay because like they said it's the rat inside that tells the rat outside that there's food in the house okay so if it's something that you want to keep private I think it's best not to even just tell anybody, you know, in the first place. But generally, there's no problem with telling your friends about your relationship. Have you had a friendship end because it had to, but you still miss that friend? Um, because it had to, but I still miss that friend. Hmm, I, I don't know. For me, I don't really have any friendships that ended because it had to, and I still miss the person. I don't think so. I don't think I don't I can't think of anyone. In fact, I don't even I can't even think of that scenario. The truth is that for me, most of my friends that I'm no longer close to, I don't see it as a friendship ended. I see it as a, the dynamics of the friendship changed. I see it as we're on a break. I see it as we're not really as close as we used to be anymore. So I don't see that as, as the end because tomorrow we can get close again tomorrow we can you know reconnect tomorrow we can start talking again tomorrow we can find ourselves in the same city and you know we are now good friends again so and i won't say it's a friendship that ended i have friends that i don't talk to but whenever we talk it's almost like nothing you know nothing went wrong okay so yeah why do you think sometimes women are not united as compared to men and men lead that united um for me I think it's a mixture of different factors. I think that social conditioning is one of them and that's because most women are socialized to think that we are in competition with each other for attention, for jobs, for men, for you know everything. We we have that mind. Many women have the mindset that another woman's progress means my failure, another woman's beauty means my ugliness, another woman's you know um wealth or success means that i'm not you know doing well myself so i think that's part of why women are not to me i feel like a perception i don't see it as a women thing i see it as it's men well i don't know i don't know to be honest but i think that's part of it and another, another thing is that women are very emotional okay we're very emotional beings um generally not all women but women generally lean towards the emotional angle so we get upset easily if things don't go our way or if we perceive that someone else is hurting us or if we feel that you know someone is not doing what we want them to do we might start you know treating them i don't know but, but i just feel like because we're emotional we tend to you know go with our emotions most times we don't use logically men can quarrel today and tomorrow they are, they, are, they are working together on something because they've kept their emotions aside they, are, they know that they have to achieve this goal but a woman you can quarrel with a woman five years ago and then next day if you're supposed to work together on something she will still be remembering what you did to her you know five years ago so yeah um, i think our emotions have a part to play in it and then social conditioning when do you draw the line with a friend confront or indirect sideline mm, what does she mean when they don't like confront or indirect sideline. Okay. Anyway, for me personally, I indirectly sideline people. I'm not confrontational in any way. I hate confrontations. 
confrontations give me anxiety when I have friends who are confrontational and I have friends who are confrontational my mom is also a confrontational person whenever she's confronting someone I'll be feeling I'll be panicking for the person <laughs> I'm panicking for the person like I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god okay I'm not confrontational at all I should be I should try and be more confrontational with people but I'm not confrontational I'm more of the I just sideline you like I don't have time to waste okay I sideline you I give you a break like I said me I see my friendships that don't you know last that long or friendships that are no more as um, what it used to be or friendships that are no more what it used to be I see them as we're taking a break okay maybe one day your mentality will change my mentality will change and we'll connect reconnect okay so there's really no one in my life that I'll say I will never ever ever talk to this person again except ex-boyfriend but aside ex-boyfriend female friends there's nobody in my life that I feel like ah this person has done me something that you know I'll never talk to this person again there's really no one what do you do when you have a very greedy friend and you both have quarreled over it many times you have a very greedy friend me personally i'm the kind of person that gives excuses for people a lot in fact before i will quarrel with a friend or before me and a friend fall out or before something happens between me and a friend that is serious <laughs> just know that it has reached me here like i give excuses upon excuses upon excuses for people so if i have a friend who is greedy to be honest i'm going to see that this is a character flaw that this person has but if i see that the friend is not changing and the greed is now becoming too much i quietly indirectly sideline you okay that's it i don't believe in quarreling with people and over the same thing over and over i don't believe in it i don't know it doesn't make sense to me of course if you're not my husband i know that we're in this together forever if you're not my husband every other person is dispensable to me okay not dispensable in that sense but every other person is not worth repeated headache okay because <laughs> i have a lot to deal with alone already okay if you're not my, if you're not my children every other person can pack one side have you lost touch with a friend because of a man have i lost touch with a friend because of a man nope nope why why how what were we sharing the man before and you shouldn't actually you shouldn't lose touch with a friend because of a man if both of you can allow man actually not if it's not a man you're not married to maybe one boy who are crushing on or something or one date or whatever uh, for me that friendship there's a lot more going in, in that there's a lot more going wrong in that friendship than just the man how do some girls keep many friends i'm the type with just a few trusted friends well for me i'm kind of person that only has just a few trusted friends as well okay and i think it's the same thing for almost everybody to be honest it's just that we perceive some people to have more friends because they are extrovert or because they have more friends that we you know that we see but in reality even people that have 20 30 like that one that did them um, this one that did wedding and she had 200 bridesmaids or something was it 200 that be 500 i can't remember 100 that lady that did, i think it was linda kg's sister she did her wedding and she had a lot of bridesmaids now you might see her and say wow she has so many friends the truth is that her real trusted friends there might just be one or two or three okay so i think almost everybody is like that it's just that some people have more you know friends in general than those of us that are introverts or those of us who don't really have so many friends okay okay the next question is has a friend ever betrayed you and if yes what happened yes a friend has betrayed me uh my very good friend i, don't, I can't really start telling guys the story because it's a long story but let's just say she took her private chat i went and showed you know someone that she didn't even like someone that that she was quarreling with okay she took our private chat i went and showed you friend so yeah but we're still friends today, Shai. Yeah, something I'm crossing over. Is it okay to date someone your friend has dated before? <laughs> yeah. Um, it depends. It depends. But for me, I, I won't do that. But I think it depends on your friendship with the person. It depends on the person's relationship with the guy. It depends on your person. I don't know. It just depends on the lady's relationship with the guy how serious was it was it her ex fiance kind of thing you know they were already walking down about to walk down the aisle or they were in a very serious relationship and this friend how close is she, is she to me okay even at, at that the time that this thing is happening are we still very close are we best friends are we just acquaintances are we just you know distant friends i don't know but it depends but personally it's not something i would want to do i mean these are men have finished in this entire universe have men finished huh the best friendship you ever had and why Woo! best friendship i've ever ever had i've had different 
very very good friendships okay very very good friendships um uh, this one i told you now i just I, I said betrayed me she's one of my best friends even to date it's something that we got over um why is she my we have a lot in common i think because me and her have a lot in common um yeah we had a lot in common anyway so she's one of my best friendship my second uh, another best friendship that i've had i have a friend who is single but we are like we're really close she likes cora a lot she's got in fact she's cora's godmother at this point okay um uh, we've known each other for okay these two girls now the one that i said betrayed me and this single friend they are the friends i talked about in my video where i said uh they're my most embarrassing situations yeah where two of us went and were laughing like goats i think three of us went and were laughing like goats in, <laughs> in my customer's office so those two girls you know they are still my best friends till tomorrow even though the one the other one has moved the married one has moved to lagos the single one is still around she's even living close to me right now yeah then nello of course nello <laughs> in fact nello is one of the best friendships i've ever had and that's because we're practically like sisters at this point me and her were from the same village at least my mom is from her village uh, her children we live close to each other like we're neighbors her children and my children attend the same school are both in the same class okay not just the same school they are both in the same class okay uh eva and kaito are in the same classroom while cora and eva are in the same class or not the same classroom i don't know if I, they are the same sex or not the same class okay um but they are all friends um what else Nello's husband was actually friends with my younger sister while they were in school in university. They served in the same church um, department or something. Um, yeah, Nello's sister-in-law was in my school, my secondary school. I'm not sure she remembers this, but yeah, Nello's sister-in-law was in my secondary school. We're not mates. I think she was a year older than. She was a, a year ahead of me. Me and her do the same job. My husband and her husband do the same job okay so yeah that's part of why we are really really close uh she's one of the best friendships i've ever had too as well um but the funny thing is that me and nello character wise personality wise we are very very different which is so funny we are very different personality and character wise but we are very similar in so many other things so it just works out anyway your sisterhood codes of dating number one do not try to date someone that i have dated do not try if for some reason he's the only man left on earth yeah he's the only man like you've searched high and low he's the only man left on earth and me and you're no longer that close then it's fine okay but yeah don't try to date someone that i've, I've dated or don't go behind my back and go and start telling the guy i've dated something or somebody that I'm, I'm dating you know something there's a friend that till today i've not told her this but till today i still look at her with side eyes I still look at her with side eyes because there was someone that I was dating that she went and told things to. Or no, there was someone I was dating that she met up with privately to talk about me. Okay. Then she didn't tell me until... In fact, anyway, let me just put it that way. So, if I'm dating somebody, remove your eyes from there. You people cannot be friends. You people cannot be... You can be friends, but don't go and overstep your boundaries. Don't be more friends with whoever I'm dating than I am. Okay. If I tell you anything about whoever I'm dating or about my relationship, Please keep it to yourself. You don't need to tell anybody else, okay? Even though I know that that's too much to ask, most people will still tell somebody. So, at the end of the day, anything you don't want any other person to hear, just keep it to yourself, okay? Um, the next question is, is Nello your best friend? <laughs> yes, of course, <laughs> obviously. Choosing best maid and maids for your wedding from friends. Yeah, you can choose from friends. For me, um, I chose my friends uh, my mom added some of my family friends and my relatives and um, but my my maid of honor was my younger sister i mean it's a no-brainer we're just two girls so yeah okay next one is why don't your other friends appear on your channel my other friends appear on my channel now but you don't used to watch my videos <laughs> my other friends appear it's just that they don't appear as much because most of them are busy working okay and i vlog during the day I do my videos from home it's not like i do too many outdoor videos okay and also i'm kind of person that i'm not really comfortable even till now i'm not comfortable vlogging in presence of my friends especially if i'm in their own territory if they come to my house and on my camera i'm fine but if i'm going to your house visit you or we're hanging out together i feel a little bit awkward bringing out my camera and say hi guys you know i don't know even till today something i'm not really used to so that might be part of why yeah but my friends a lot of my friends have entered my vlogs 
Um, so yeah, but generally I don't have that many friends. So maybe that way you're confused about. I don't. I have. I don't have that many close friends. Let me put it that way. So what is your longest friendship? My longest friendship is with Neze, Neze of Nezeville, formerly known as Traffic Rants with Neze, okay? So yeah, Neze of Nezeville is my longest friendship. We've known each other from just one till date, okay? That's 20 something years. So yeah, she's my longest friendship. When your best friend's BF asks you out, what do you do? When your best friend's BF asks you out, what do you do? What will you do before? You tell your best friend now. Nah, I don't understand. Your best friend, her boyfriend is asking you out. You're asking what you will do. Ah, I, I already finished telling I already finished telling her. Once it happens, hey! In fact, I'll even tell the guy, oh, you're coming to ask me out. I am going to tell my friend, okay? So, but also ask yourself, why is the guy comfortable coming to ask you out? Ask yourself that question. What is it about you that made him have the guts to knowing that you are his girlfriend's best friend what you know made him have the guts to come and approach you so you need to ask yourself that question okay and yeah but personally i mean i'll just tell my friends you know that guy girl your, your boyfriend is a ho you say ho okay i'll tell her straight up that's why i still have some sympathy for chloe kardashian okay as against um uh, jordan what's me your name what's your name self jordan 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 Jordan, yeah, I still have some sympathy for Chloe Kardashian because how can you call me on the phone and tell me? Oh, yes, yeah, so I'm in your boyfriend's house now. We are having a party Don't worry. I'm helping you keep an eye on him so that he won't mess around with anybody And then you are the one he's messing around with okay, and then when you finish messing around with him You did not tell your own you didn't tell my younger sister who is your best friend you didn't tell my younger sister you didn't tell anybody you had to wait for me to hear it from outside sources no no it's not it's not there's something fishy there okay so as much as people are just trying to vilify chloe like oh she's treating the girl bad this one and she's taking the man's side i don't like the fact that she's taking the man's side but basically i'm like you need to tell like it's the kind of thing that i won't even leave the party without telling you i'll call you on the phone and say girl <laughs> can you sustain close friendship with someone who doesn't share similar values with you no i cannot nope 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 i cannot it depends on the values anyway for instance i can't maintain very close relationships with someone who doesn't believe in god doesn't believe like an atheist or something okay an atheist or someone who doesn't believe in someone who talks down on my you know my faith someone who feels like you know i'm stupid for making just that i don't have to explain it but yeah, it depends on the value. Some values that I might the person the person's own might differ from mine, but it's not it's not a deal breaker. Let me put it that way. It's not a deal breaker for our friendship. But once it's the major ones like my faith, <laughs> if it's that one, forget it. Okay, the next person is asking, how do you handle friends that do not support anything you do? How do I handle friends that don't support anything I do? Cut them off, okay? Cut them off. Of. now i'm not saying that you should depend on your friends to sustain your business to sustain whatever it is you are doing i'm not saying that but there should be some level of you know um support from your friends there should be some level they should cheer you on they should try to you know patronize you they should try to help you out but if the person will not support anything you do what is now what is your friendship about i don't understand how is, how is that person now your friend like that person is not your friend to start with, so forget about it. I know a lot of people who call people their friends, but they don't support them. So, yeah, I, I can understand that. But me personally, when I have a friend, I can, I can enter, enter the ground for for my friend. <laughs> the most is like that. Like I'm gonna say that I don't really make friends that easily. I don't really have so many friends. But the ones that are my friends, I can enter ground for my friends. Okay, so um, yeah, if I see a friend that does that, not supportive, I just mentally tick you off as you're not, my, you're not my friend you're just someone i know okay as a girl is it okay for your girlfriend to stay with your partner for months is it okay for your girlfriend to stay with your partner for months for me nope it is not okay okay 
Now, I'm not saying it because I'm suspecting her that something will happen between her and my partner or I don't trust my partner enough or, or why can't the man control himself or whatever, whatever. I'm not saying that, but for me, I don't trust people who tell me I'm the only one I have. Like, I'm the only one. In this whole world of 7 billion people, I am the only one that can help you. I'm the only one that's your friend. I'm the only one that you have. I'm the only one you can stay with. Mm -hmm. So my okay, you can't stay with me, but because my partner maybe lives in the same city with you, then my partner is the only person in this whole entire universe that you can find to stay with. Then no, some talk with such friends, something is wrong with you. So when when I see people that say things like ah, I don't have so many friends, in fact I don't even like friends. I like to just be on my own. Some people say it with pride, you know. I like to just be on my own. I don't really like friends, you know. People people can be so mean. People can be so people can be so people can do you dirty. I don't want people. I don't want to have when I see people like that, in my mind, I'm like, girl, tell me what's wrong with you. Like, something is wrong with you. Yes. Because, I mean, it's not a good thing to be to be walking up and down with your shoulders high that you don't like friends or you don't have friends or you don't believe in making friends. It's not a good thing if you ask me, there's something that must be wrong with you. The whole world cannot be the issue. There's something wrong with you. So, should I trust someone who is constantly trying to copy how I dress or be better? Someone who is constantly trying to copy how you dress. Why is that a bad thing? Someone constantly copy, trying to copy how I dress. <laughs> I'll be flattered, I'll be like, ah. So someone sees my dressing as good enough to copy. That's good. Um, but I'll be better. How do you know a person trying to be better than you? Maybe a person just naturally dresses better. How do you know the person is trying to be better than you? I don't know, but for me, you might actually be the one in secret competition with your friend and you think she's the one competing with you. I've seen cases like that. Where because somebody is trying to, you know, be nice or trying to, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm not saying that's your own case, but I'm saying sometimes you ain't see people who say that she's always trying to compete with me. It's you that is always trying to compete with her sometimes. Okay, but I agree, yes, there are also times that other ladies try to compete with, you know, with their friends, which doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, so what will you do? You know what you will do now? Okay, no, she's asking, should you trust the person? I don't see that as a basis not to trust the person, but I still I believe that as women we all have this intuition on who we can trust and who we shouldn't trust. We have that intuition, we have that something always tells us if we can really sometimes we try to quiet it, sometimes we don't listen to it, sometimes you know we misbehave ourselves and things now come back to bite us in the ass. So yeah, but listen to your intuition. Is she someone you can trust? How does she act with her other friends? What does she say? Is she a very competitive person? Is she a very um, a vindictive person, you know? Those are the things you should look out for. It's not about whether she's trying to dress like you or not, okay? So the last question is, how do you find or make true friends, okay? So yeah, um, like I was telling the last person, in my own case, I'm not someone who jumps into friendships. Um, I wish when I was younger, I had gone out more, I had made more friends. Okay, something that I'm still working on right now to try and make more friends. Okay, but it's not something that comes naturally to me. Even though once I consider somebody a friend, I go all out for the person. But I'm not the kind of person that jumps into people easily simply because my mom is a jumper. She likes to make friends. She's a very friendly person. And I have seen her get burnt several times. Okay, so when it comes to friendships, I'm the kind of person that before I consider somebody as a true friend, you would have proven to me that you are a good person over time. I would have seen your track record with your other friends. And for me, even though I trust people and say, oh, this is my friend, it doesn't mean that I don't be, I don't have it somewhere back of my mind that somebody can betray me, okay? Or someone can, you know, hurt me. So I still have it somewhere in my mind. I'm not someone that blindly follows people or blindly likes people or whatever. I still have somewhere in my mind. I still somehow prepared for the worst, even though you know, I try to see the best in people, I try to always give excuses for them, but it doesn't shock me when people do some things that they do. I still just tell myself that, huh, it was expected, like, I'm not expecting, but all I'm just trying to say is that friendships do not hurt me as much when they go south, because I'm ready, okay, so it's the only person I know that will not betray me in this life, is God, every other person, you are just a mere mortal. <laughs> you are a mere human being. You are only doing, you know, you are only doing what you are you are designed to do. I don't know. You are only doing what you, I know you are capable of doing. So, yeah. So, making true friends is something that, for me, happens over time. You know, 
after a while of me being someone's friend, I now realize that okay, this person is a true friend. I can confide in the person. I can tell the person my struggles and whatever and whatever. But even at that, I still have it somewhere in my mind that this friendship can go south one day. The person can misbehave. Okay, and I think that that's also why it's easy for me to forgive friends who who misbehave because. I beg, everybody has their own score, score at the end of the day, okay? It's only if you are the kind of person that you you consider somebody your best friend that the person can never never hurt you in this life. You are setting up yourself for heartbreak. <laughs> you know, you are setting up yourself for heartbreak. But like I said, anything you know you don't want to hear anybody from anybody else's mouth, don't tell it to anybody. Keep it to yourself. Let the team, let that secret choke you. Let that information choke you, okay? The moment you let it out, just know that it has gone. Coco! <laughs> like AJ from the real will say, Coco! Just know that, that your secret has gone out into the world and will come back to you one day from sources that you, you never expected, okay? So yeah, I hope I was able to answer your questions very well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah!